The market absolutely sold off today. And in this video, I wanted to take a look at the charts and take a look at where the stock market could potentially be headed. Now, without further ado, let's hop in the charts. All right, so here we are looking at SPY on the monthly chart. One thing that I quickly wanna point out on the monthly chart is that the month of September is historically more bearish than it is bullish. Today was the first official trading day of September. Do I think there's any coincidence that we sold off from 560 down to 550 in one day? No, I do not. Uh, with that being said, let's move down to the lower time frame and take a look at what I see. All right, so looking on the spy chart, uh, one thing that I do see here is that we have a supply zone, this gray zone right here is a supply zone that I drew on the weekly chart. Um, typically what you would expect from a supply zone is strong selling. And should this end up playing out, uh, remember each of these candles represents a week of time. So you could come all the way from here to here uh, in the time span of that candle, but ultimately it should be coming down to retest uh, somewhere here or somewhere here or continue the trend. As you know, markets don't move in a straight line. So that's this is what you would expect from a supply zone. So the question here is, was this just a one day thing or is this sell off going to continue and maybe even intensify? Now, moving on to a lower time frame, you can see that in the pre-market, we gapped up to make an equal high at 465, coming in, testing, testing the all-time high and closing the gap. But in the pre-market, we sold off and I think we actually ended up opening the day somewhere around 560. From there, we pretty much sold off all day consistently. And as of right now, it looks as if we are headed on our way to make new lows. So looking at this, uh, really all we can do here is play it level to level. You can kind of eye out different areas of supply and demand. Looking on the four hour time frame, there's an area of demand uh, right here around 445. Uh, the next key level, which we already kind of tested a little bit, is going to be right here about 550. From here at 550, that's going to be our next major level. As of right now, as of today, we have held above that from there we could see some buying pressure to the upside but from here we're going to be watching this kind of a 554 555 area looking for that to be kind of our area of resistance right now as of right now above 544 545 look for potentially more upside but below that hey the next level we have is going to be down here below this 550 the next area is going to be right here about 545 and then below that, below that we got 540, 535. So just know when we break a level that we're moving in $5 increments on the SPY. And right now, just, just know we're not out of the woods in either direction. And there are a couple of other things I want to bring to your attention. Uh, one is going to be the fact that today uh, the VIX opened up around 15, closed the day around $21. So the VIX is up 30% on the day. So continue to watch this and, and know that as this continues to rise, options contract pricing is, is going to continue to get more expensive as well. So yeah, the higher this goes, just be more considerate with the options contracts you're buying. Should we see another spike like we saw over here? If you're holding options contracts, hey, definitely never a bad idea to cash out. It probably has a lot of premium breaked into it. So just know options contracts are expensive and maybe consider looking for ETFs like the SQQQ, TQQQ, things similar to that. Now going on, looking at the queues, uh, similar to the SPY, let's start off on the monthly chart. Uh, you can see, once again, similar to what I said about the SPY, the queues are gonna be the same. Only different with the queues is, we didn't retest all time highs. So this month we're pretty much straight down. We sold off from 473 down to about 460. Going on, looking at the weekly chart, similar to how I said we were selling off on the weekly from a supply zone. Once again, we are selling off on the weekly from a supply zone with QQQ. 
So supply zone was formed over here and we came down, came back up to retest it. And as of right now, it uh, looks like we're selling off pretty good. So right now, current support is going to be right here at about 460. And that's pretty much uh, where we close. Once again, right now, we closed above that 460 support. So this is going to be the major level to the downside. Should we break below that, look to about 450 for the next level. Or that's, that's the weekly chart. Let's actually move down to the four hour. So below that, uh, next major level, looks like it's going to be about uh, 454. It's going to be kind of in this range. or uh, Next major level below 460 is going to be about 450. Then below that, uh, we have a demand zone at 440 and so on. So... As of right now, on the lower time frames, it looks like we are on a downtrend. On the month, we are making lower lows. Uh, on on the weekly time frame, it's looking like we're in the downtrend on the queues as well. And I'm not trying to say anything specific in this video, but I really just wanted to make this video to kind of prepare you and let you know uh, what we're kind of getting into right now. Are we selling off right now? We did today. Are we selling off tomorrow? We'll have to see. We held up at some key levels and it is very well possible that the market could push us up tomorrow, but it's also very well possible that the market sell off could continue. So be sure to play it level to level. If you learned anything or found this video to be helpful, be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe. If you haven't taken advantage of it already, be sure to check out the Moomoo Moo referral link down below in the description. They're offering up to 15 free stocks when you sign up using that link. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.